Well, a lot of it depends on, you know, whether something is caught localized uh, or if something is caught in an advanced stage. Um, for example, patients who have what we talked about, that carcinoid syndrome, typically those patients are caught in a metastatic uh, or advanced stage. And that's because the tumor has to have spread to the liver in order for those hormones that get secreted uh, to not be metabolized by the liver and to actually get throughout the body to cause those syndromes. So, um, you know, someone who has maybe an incidental uh, lesion found in the pancreas, it's biopsied and it's determined to be an isolated pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor, that person probably won't have uh, systemic symptoms because it's still caught localized and it hasn't spread to the liver where it can bypass um, that mechanism. So in localized cancers, you know, we can cure these with surgery. Of course, like any cancer, you know, that involves follow-up imaging, sometimes follow-up colonoscopies or endoscopies to kind of monitor. Um, but those can be curative. In the setting of a surgery that's performed on someone with advanced or stage four metastatic cancer, a lot of the times what we're doing there is not attempting to cure someone with the surgery, but sort of lower the burden of the disease. And if we can, you know, if we can remove 70% or more of those tumors in the body, you know, we've shown previously that that can translate into uh, prolonged survival um, for our patients. So it really depends on how a patient presents and, you know, the specific features uh, of their situation.